Hi there, YouTubers. Today is October the 15th, Saturday. Nice day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. So nice that I decided to come up on the roof today to do some final pre-winter maintenance and uh, clean the gutters out, leaves, things like that. Looking up, you can see the rooftops. Looking down, you can see what I'm going to be using to fill the crack in this, in the cap here of the chimney. Um, some crack sealant. There's a crack going across here, so I think I better do that before we get some leaks and water inside. But it's such a nice day. It's uh, I'd say it's pushing 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Not a cloud in the sky. And just have a look around the neighborhood. Those are some nice apartments. I used to live there when I first came to Prince George. And those apartments over there. You can see that Prince George, there's a hill that goes right around Prince George. Big trees. The neighbor's backyard. Now the, the landscape of Prince George has changed dramatically in the past 10 years. There used to be thousands, tens of thousands of lodgepole pines that were 60, 70, 80 feet, 100 feet tall. And the mountain pine beetle came through the infestation killed them all and they all had to be taken out. Totally changed the uh, the flora of Prince George. This is looking west across the rooftops. There's a school over there, what used to be a school. It's now uh, office space and stuff. Half the schools in Prince George have been closed in the past 15 years due to budgetary cutbacks by a provincial government. And uh, it's declining school enrollment. People don't have as many children as they used to. So we're just looking around. It's a nice sunny day, not a cloud. This is what I have to do. I'm on the roof, two stories up. Just walk down to the corner here. There's a couple trees that are in the front yard. They dump leaves in the gutters, leaves troughs. So I do this every fall. I come up here. I'm just doing a video. And there's leaves in the gutters. I'm not getting too close to the edge here. It goes all the way down. It's a simple roof, fortunately. I have a hose here going up, around. The roof has a, sky, has a skylight. Looking down through the skylight, if there's somebody sitting on the toilet, you'd be able to see them. But there isn't. So I have to do the back gutters as well. It's my project. Take care. Hi everyone. Well, I have the gutters cleared out. Except the front ones, I'm just going to have to hose it out and get all the dirt and all those little bits off the shingles that come down every year. But uh, this is my neighbor's cat, Smokey, and Smokey has caught a sunbeam on this beautiful afternoon. And uh, Smokey seems to be a really nice little cat. I've thrown in this this one, this little segment in for Jen Zeppelin, who's a tremendous cat lover. And uh, there's Smokey next door. Really cute. Smokey torments Charlotte and Daisy a bit, though. But also looking down here on the roof, here is a uh, here's a Mike Holmes tip. Okay, looking down here in the gutter, see if this focuses here or not. Okay, there's the drain in the gutter. That drain is probably less than two inches across. And what you really want to have, if you ever replace your eaves troughs, find one with with a drain that's about three or four inches wide so nothing so the crap doesn't get caught here in the east trough it can just drain down through the pipe they, they make those now I don't think they made them 15 years ago when I had this were changed out when the roof was done and stuff but uh, find one that's really wide that doesn't collect all the crap and back everything up household tip Thanks. I'm now back up here in the top on the chimney. 
trying to repair the chimney cap and the cracks and things like that and I mean the ultimate solution is probably to uh, to take this whole cap off knock the chimney down take the roof off the house just like Mike Holmes would do but uh, I'm trying to take a shortcut here so I'm pouring this stuff this liquid crack seal into the cracks like so whether this works or not I mean I don't have any leaks in the house that I'm aware of but really I have my uh, trowel out because working with concrete and cracks and mortar and stuff all of this isn't real stuff having a trowel just seems the right thing to do some professional troweling there this thing's flat couple more cracks and I'll be finished. Over the last half an hour, 45 minutes, I've applied several layers of this quickrete artificial concrete. The part that's dried has a constituency that's very much like rubber, gray rubber, and it's it's going to be in a better situation than it was at least before I started. I don't think I'm going to come up on the roof again this year though. I had an accident a few years ago I think more than 10 years ago where I fell off a ladder coming up on the roof and it was not a good thing. After I picked myself up, I basically crawled into bed and threw the covers over my head for a while. I was in a state of shock. No serious injuries though, fortunately. And another cat. I'm surrounded by them. This is, uh, I don't know the name of this cat, but it lives in the house behind. It's kind of a Siamese. And it's, it's very docile. It doesn't seem to chase birds or anything like that. It's just a very, very nice cat. Bye-bye, everyone.